Capricorn singles, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. Keep in mind that anything in this reading can go vice versa and check your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs for more clarity. If you're not sure about what those are, there is a link in the description box below um, that will take you to various websites that will generate a natal chart for you. All right, and keep in mind, this is a general reading. You and everything may not resonate with everyone, and these messages can go vice versa. Let's get started. The world is your overall energy. Major Arcana card. So, Capricorn, this indicates success, travel. Um, yeah, success and travel. But it looks like something came to an end. Okay, I'm also seeing an ending. This looks like a relationship that happened in the past where there was this in and out energy. Like you were in and out of this person's life. There was this on again, off again type of vibe with this relationship. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm getting. Like the two of you were going around in circles. Nothing was resolved. Things were not moving forward. They just stayed in a state of stagnation. There was a lot of confusion here, okay? There's like a cloud of confusion around you, and it looks like someone was willing to leave it this way. It feels as though you're feeling the loss of this soulmate connection. There was definitely a breakup between you and this person, and it ended in heartbreak. And disappointment. disappointment. I feel like at times you think about coming out of the cold with this person. You want to work things out. You want to resolve things. And you're thinking about reaching out and telling this person how you feel. You're wanting to start over. Okay. For some of you, it's a Libra. Okay. You feel like this person treated you unfairly. Or maybe you felt like you were the one that dealt this injustice to this person from the past and it could have easily been a Sagittarius oh this person comes up as the king of wands in reverse um you know someone is wearing a false mask someone that's been deceiving you or deceived you in the past um this person could have had a bit of an uh, addiction with alcohol or drugs or perhaps this was just um, a codependent relationship. That if someone could have been addicted to something of a lower vibration. You know, it could have been an emotionally abusive relationship. Could have even been physically abusive. Definitely seeing that this was a three-party situation. And... Yeah, it could involve a Sagittarius for some of you. We've got the Queen of Wands, King and Queen, and one in reverse, one in the upright. Like the two of you are not seeing eye to eye. You're not on the same page. Uh, you're moving in two different directions. You have two different ideas. You're butting heads about things. And yeah, I just feel like the passion is gone. And someone is like one foot in the door, one foot out of the door. Or this is past tense, right? So yeah, just apply it in the past tense. But this could also be playing out in the third party situation. So I'm seeing two different scenarios. This is either a combination of what you went through with this person in the past and what's going on presently in their current situation with the third party. Because there is a coupled side of the third party and there is a single side, which is, of course, you. Um, but this, to me, represents a married couple. Or a couple that is in some type of a long-term relationship. Um, yeah, this looks like the coupled part of the third party is not seeing eye to eye. And someone's leaving. Leaving it behind. You know, leaving it behind. They're moving on. Now, as it pertains to you, hope I'm not confusing you. This is someone who was sneaky in the past, which brought on feelings of insecurity, you know, a lack of trust there. And the things that they did or said was a blow to your self-esteem. So ultimately, you gave up on this relationship as well, or vice versa. Someone gave up on this relationship. 
And while you may have given up on this relationship, Capricorn, you haven't moved on from this person. You know, it could be your child's other parent. You could This could be the mother or father of your children that we're speaking about. Could be a Leo. I'm saying a child could be involved. This relationship was happy in the past. And there could have been some type of a missed opportunity between the two of you. Or there could be some type of a job loss. Because we got the four of pentacles where someone is really trying to hang on to their cash. Hang on to their coin. Because there could be some type of a loss here financially. So... With all the drama that played out in this relationship in the past, it looks like you decided to not take a risk in this relationship any longer. You know, you weren't going to continue to take a leap of faith in a relationship that with a person that you didn't even have faith in. So you let it go. And so you're coming out of this period of anxiety and worry. Um, but you still do think about this person. And, you know... In the past, you were attracted to this person because of their wit or their charm. This is someone who is very flirtatious and like the attention of others. They like the spotlight on them. And this could have caused you to feel overly dramatic. Um, but I'm feeling like someone is having to choose, okay? Because there is a three-party situation. There is a couple involved here. And there's someone wanting or needing coming to the decision of coming to the point of having to choose between two paths either go back to be with the person from the past or stay where there is a lot of discord and dishonesty and frustration because i'm seeing that there is an imminent separation taking place within the couple in this third party situation someone is definitely like i said walking away the Eight of Cups, walking away and moving on. And I feel like someone's not looking back. You know, she's not looking back at all. <sighs> yeah, I feel like someone kind of gave up on waiting for the other one because things were in a state of stagnation and this person kind of pulled away emotionally. And maybe this was the single person that pulled away emotionally. Maybe this was you, Capricorn. But it looks like you're coming out of a period of isolation or vice versa. The person that you're waiting for to make a decision, you know, they could have pulled back as well um, to really think about things, to figure out, what makes them happy and looks like the time of confusion is about to be cleared up because you have the ace of swords which talks about mental clarity so no more confusion you're about to cut through the bs someone is about to and they're about to reveal what the next step is that they're about to take okay so that's what it's coming down to. Someone's about to come out and admit that they have romantic feelings about someone else. And yeah, you know, this was someone that was afraid to make a decision in the past. So their, their thinking was a bit scattered. They were unsure which direction to take things. You know, like I said before, with the two of swords, just. You know, it goes back to this whole confusion thing, okay? But it looks like we're getting past this. Uh, again, Ace of Swords, mental clarity. You know, no more scattered thinking. There's certainty here. Things are about to move forward. Someone's passion is reignited, okay? So we're starting at number one again at the top of the card. Someone's ready to start over leave behind a situation and here it is it ends with the death card scorpio for some of you someone's putting an end to a situation they're they're putting this to an end they're deading a situation and moving forward um high priest this is the hierophant taurus for some of you and um someone's moving on to commitment this leaves a bitter taste in someone's mouth because there is resentment because someone has decided to release themselves from a toxic situation. You know, they're no longer sticking around. The Six of Wands, here they come. Traveling 
to come and tell you, to try to get your attention, to let you know that they want to work on this. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Recognition, reward. Uh, someone's now willing to acknowledge you as the one. And they're, they're giving you the time and attention that you deserve. Because in the past, like I said, this person was a bit reclusive. They kind of pulled back and went into their own bubble. Um, and they weren't really speaking. They weren't really telling you anything. So, yeah, that's what brought on this confusion. And now they're, they're coming out of that period of isolation. And they're willing to talk to you. Or they're ready to decide what it is that they want. And with the star card... There's still hope in this situation. Someone is still hoping that there's um, a chance for a new start with the Empress. You know, the Empress represents fertility. Um, and this also represents, I feel like, the single person in the situation. It was like, even though you didn't hear from this person, you were doing just fine. You know, or this could be you, Capricorn, because you are the single one. You were doing just fine. You were focused on yourself, building yourself up, and realizing your strength you know, you're realizing that you're stronger than you know. So I'm feeling like, yeah, a new you, new year, new you. So you've been focusing on your goals, focusing on what make what is important to you. And um, yeah, so secrets are out. Uh, Ten of Cups, someone's ready to move on into um, something solid. For the future, you know, wanting to build something solid between you, you know, building a legacy, you know, having that material, material and spiritual prosperity, moving on into something new. And this is someone, you know, after some time of stagnation, you know, time of reflection, time of thinking about things, it looks like someone is going to come back to prove their loyalty to you and they're wanting to link up and make this a real relationship you know because in the past this was not really solid but this is someone that's willing to rebuild this relationship brick by brick and someone that wants this relationship for the long haul okay so i'm seeing that it's about forgiveness you know there's someone coming out to extend an olive branch and they're willing to um, bring this newness back to the relationship. This could have been something that you had been praying for. Okay, praying for and hoping and now it's coming into fruition. And it's like now you can rest assured that this person means business because now they're not just talking they're going to show you by their actions that they mean business. Yep, so I'm definitely seeing that someone is moving on from a situation, moving on from this third party situation. And you're now seeing movement. No more confusion, no more of having everything up in the air. And with the magician, again, someone who wants to wipe the slate clean of the Ace of Wands, Starting new, a fresh new start, fresh new outlook on things, a passionate new start between you and this person from the past. So I'm seeing someone is coming back from the past. Someone is separating themselves from a third party. No more stagnation, no more confusion. There's still true love here. And I feel like someone's coming back to confess it. So the advice cards that I pulled prior to the reading... We have transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Then you have bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. And finally, you have be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. And that's it. You know, what a coincidence because you have it here. I don't really like saying that anything is a coincidence because I don't believe in coincidences, but it says you are stronger than you know, and it says it here in this card as well. So this is this is um, emphasizing that, yes, Capricorn, you are stronger than you know. You've gotten through this situation, and it's been a very difficult and arduous ride, but it's like you now 
see the light at the end of the tunnel and things are going to move forward. So for some of you, this may not have played out yet, but if not, I'm seeing it play out in the near future. But keep in mind, this is a general reading. So, you know, the results may differ for everyone. They may not be the same for everyone. The only way to find out is to get a personal reading. So let's go ahead and pull an advice card. And you know what? I, I didn't mention this one. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, because, you know, maybe some of you are needing some help financially for pentacles. Someone's holding on to their coin. Maybe someone needs to let go of pride and ask for some help, possibly in this situation. And I want to show you one more thing because I did pull these three advice cards and at the bottom of the deck was bodies of water. Spend time near water such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. You know, maybe on a day when it's not too, too cold, maybe consider going out and getting a recharge, you know. You know, um, regenerating your chi, recharging your batteries. So, yeah, that is what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn. Now let's go ahead and pull an advice card. I'm hearing getting grounded. You know, time to get grounded. Recharge your chi. Okay, let's go ahead and pull an advice card. All right, Holy Spirit, what final word of advice do you have for Capricorn singles? Going back into a relationship with someone from the past that is returning. What advice do you have, Holy Spirit? One more. They're telling me cut the deck in three. Here we go. Recogni uh, clear cognizance. Pay attention to the, to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. So... Listen to your intuition. Listen to your inner voice. You're being divinely guided. Capricorn, divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. I got this card for Virgo. And I also believe I got it for Cancer. So this means look past just um, your own compartmentalized thinking on a situation because you know not everyone but some of us we think in a box maybe broadening our thinking to see um, why things have happened in our lives and maybe we may not even see it right now there may not even be a real rhyme or reason that you can put together but you know maybe looking back it may even take years from now, looking back and seeing that, yeah, everything happened the way that it was supposed to. You know, it was painful, but this time apart was necessary in order for the two of you to grow, see things differently, heal, all of those things, so that the two of you could come to back, come back together stronger. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Now, these cards keep talking about inner knowledge, divine guidance. So listen to your intuition. Get in tune with your inner voice. And that's probably why it's saying get near bodies of water so you can recharge. So that you can close that chatter that goes on in your head. You know, because sometimes people confuse their intuition with, their fears and their thoughts because you have so many things running through your mind. And then when you get centered and you get grounded, you're able to, and that's why they told me, say that, get grounded. Okay, so when you do get centered and get grounded, you can hear and discern the voice of God and what you're being divinely guided to do at the bottom of the deck. Overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Yes, absolutely. This confirms it. Capricorn, you are stronger than you know. You've overcome this difficulty. There's a rhyme or reason why it all happened, even though you may not be able to see it now. Everything happens according to divine order. So that is what I have for you this week, Capricorn. New beginnings, leaving behind the past and forging forward and getting on with your life all right Capricorn so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me 
you can book directly on my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. And you can also reach me on Instant Go, and the direct link to my profile is also below in the description box. So um, go ahead and be sure to text me your question if you are interested in reaching out to me on Instant Go. Text me and I will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and drop a comment if it did resonate. Thank you, everyone. Once again, I will see you next week. Bye for now.